Where are we going? Oh, we're going to go pick up a, a broke tiller for like 50 bucks. Hopefully it's not in too bad a shape. We're not rich, so we can't afford everything brand new. <laughs> Imagine that. Let's hit the road. So the original plan was to hopefully buy this rototiller for 50 bucks. Nick would do the small engine work and get it back running. Uh, we knew there was a chance that the engine was going to be no good, but it turned out that he did get compression under it again, but it ended up just not being good. The fuel line, the fuel tank, everything was really dirty and we just decided to go ahead and purchase the new motor for it. So Nick is going to take some time and put this new engine into the rototiller and then we can get to work on making some new beds. So today we're working on getting a cabbage patch started. A uh, big mistake that I made when I first started gardening was trying to put all of my head plants in with my main garden. And there's a few reasons that I don't want to do that anymore. One being the head vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, lettuces, they can attract some different kinds of worms and other pests. And also they just take up so much square footage for one head of broccoli or one head of cauliflower. So I want to kind of separate the two spaces. Also with having the two spaces, I'll kind of have my main summer garden and then my fall and spring garden with my heads. So I'm hoping that by having the seasonal items a little bit separate will make it easier for planting later on as well. So we got the tiller running and it's working great. Uh, we're just gonna go through and till up some of this land and try to get as much done as we can. The weather unfortunately hasn't been too great for us for painting so it's a little bit of a gloomy day it's a little bit cold uh, it's been really wet so we can't paint so that project is currently on hold so we figured we might as well dive into this cabbage patch project while we have the time and we can't be doing other things running through here we do get quite a lot of rocks in our soil. I like to save these so I can put them around my beds whenever we yeah. do them. So we have a rock pile that we keep them in over in So it's just about 3.30 here, so I am gonna go ahead and plant some of these plants in today. Uh, might as well just get them in the ground and get them happy. I am gonna mix in some fertilizer as I go. I'm using this Dr. Earth homegrown organic fertilizer. It's a 463. Gary on the rest of the garden has always kind of instilled in me not to go too crazy with your fertilizer, like trying to get the perfect thing. He always says that around a 555 is good, give or take a couple numbers. So this is a 463 and it's perfect. I'll get what I need out of it. I'm just gonna sprinkle 
a tablespoon or so of that around each plant and just do each individual plant as I'm going around here. So I'm just thinking of what I'm gonna do here. I'm trying to get my plan together. I have uh, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, and broccoli that I wanna sow in, plants that I've already started. And then I'm also gonna direct sow some bunching onions in as well as some other lettuces. My plan with the bunching onions is hopefully they will keep some of those free loader worms out of here. I'm kind of just winging this right now. Uh, I'm gonna find a layout that I wanna work with and figure out, you know, how I wanna space them. I am gonna space each plant two feet apart. I'm gonna give each plant two square feet to work with so that they can grow. So I'm just gonna drag a line here through the soil where I'm gonna sow these seeds in. So I'm just gonna take this fertilizer and I'll just sprinkle a little bit in to that row. And these are the onions I'll be planting. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sprinkle these in. Not being too crazy, it says that they want about a quarter inch of depth. I'm just gonna start digging my holes to put my transplants into. Just loosening up the soil in the cup here and gently getting this out of there. This is a broccoli that I started back in February. And I'll add some of this fertilizer, like I said, a couple tablespoons around each plant. I'm gonna space a couple of feet over before I start my next row. That way I can be coming in between here to harvest and weed. Don't forget to leave yourself space to walk in your garden. You're gonna wanna get in there to work around. And if you're worried about stepping on your plants, uh, you're probably gonna step on your plants. So just give yourself a little bit of room. I decided that I also wanted to sow a few marigolds in to deter some pests. Marigolds are great. Here I have some Jolly Jester marigolds. So I think I'm just going to put them maybe a, a row or two in the middle here. It'll have some nice blooms uh, to liven up the garden, but also it'll serve a purpose, like I said, to deter some of these pests away from um, the cabbage leaves. I am happy to say that we were able to get it all done. We ended up adding on uh, 14 by 18 feet of garden space, and this is what will be our cabbage patch. We ended up putting in broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, marigold, spinach, and lettuce, as well as some bunching onions. Typically, at this point, I would go ahead and water all of this in, but we are expecting some rain, so I am holding off for that reason, no 
knowing that we're gonna be getting rain. If you'd like to check out my previous videos, I'll link them right here in the cards for you. I have how to thin out your seedlings as well as preparing the house for exterior paint. If you'd like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to our channel. We'll be back every Friday to post more content for you guys to enjoy. Upcoming, we have our DIY exterior house painting project. Hopefully, if these days will dry out a little bit, we'll be able to get some paint on the walls. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.